Hi, I'm Colleen Stanley, President of Sales Leadership, and I'm here to tell you to snap to it. Jill Conrath has done it again. She's written her second book called Snap Selling, and I think it's a terrific book for any sales profession and any sales organization out there. She talks about a lot of concepts in the book, but here's three favorites that I want to discuss with you today. The first one is this. Jill realizes, we realize that sales leadership, the good old days are gone. Do you remember the good old days when you could just call somebody up, you didn't have to study their website, there wasn't all the sales tool tools, so you actually didn't have to be that strategic? Well, today's buyer, according to Conrad's research, is sitting with 60 hours of work on their desk. And folks, that's after the to-do list. So let's face it, they don't want to hear from a sales representative unless this person is strategic and knows their business. So in the Snap Selling book, Jill talks a lot about how do you make your message sound strategic and actually make a quicker impact on your customer or prospect. For example, at sales leadership, when we call on certain industries, we always customize the value proposition. Construction. Now construction is an industry that's been hit heavy by the recession. So if we're making a call in or a contact in, our value proposition statement might sound like, hey, listen, we're working with construction firms that back in the day only competed with three companies. Today in the downturn, they're up against 40 competitors and they need to look and sound different. So we're customizing it to say, hey, we know your business. We know you've got increased competition. When we're calling on vice president of sales, we may talk about that continuing pain point of CRM tools. And we may make a statement such as, Mr. Mr. VP of Sales, we understand your frustration with reps not using your CRM tools and as a result it's impacting your forecasting and you're getting some heat from your CFO. So Conrath talks about this in her book, get strategic, customize your value propositions and customize your statements. Now the second one that I love in this book, and it's also in her prior book, Selling to Big Companies, are trigger events. How many of you would like to raise your close ratios dramatically. And in this book, we talk about if you make the contact at the right time with the right messaging, it's called a trigger event, the person on the other end of the phone email is more likely to be open to a conversation. Let me give you some trigger events right out of the book. Legislative changes, rapid growth, natural disasters, economic conditions, price of oil, changes with key customers, trends along the customer base. These are just a few. So when you have trigger events identified, Google alerts on those, guess what? Your prospect is more likely to engage in conversation with you. And you know what? One of my favorites is become invaluable. Jill talks about this a lot in her book, and this really subscribes to a lot of the philosophy we have here at Sales Leadership on be a shortcut. And you know, often you need to make a deposit in a prospect or a customer's relationship bank before they want to take the next step with you. Here's a terrific example out of the book. This is a salesperson that called on hospitals. And so instead of trying to get that order right away, get the appointment, this person called Nina Milhouse decided to make an, a deposit through an email. I'm going to read it right out of the book. One of the most common methods of prescription fraud occurs when forms are stolen from busy exam rooms. I know your hospital is moving as fast as you can into e-prescribing, but it takes time. And until it's implemented, you need to keep your guard up. I realize this is short notice, but I have a recognized guru on prescription fraud in town next Tuesday. Would it be possible for us to gather the stakeholders of the e-prescribing initiative for a meeting? So this salesperson's actually making a deposit on let me help you with a short-term resolution before we go into a long solution. So for all, for all of you sales teams out there, sales organizations, go out to Amazon, to the local bookstore, and pick up Snap Selling. Well, wait a minute. Don't do it unless you want to make more money in 2010. Thanks for joining us at Sales Leadership. I'm Colleen Stanley.